Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The federal government is helping the state help you, homeowners, stay in their homes who may be uh, facing the possibility of losing their home. And with us now to tell us more about it is Assemblywoman Norma Torres. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me, Leslie, to speak about this very important program that we have in the state of California. Yeah, now it's called Keep Your Home California. How does it work? Well, it was um, four programs were developed out of uh, this $2 million that we have. $2 billion. Two two, billion. I'm sorry, $2 billion that we have to allocate um, to assist homeowners. One of the programs um, targets people who are unemployed. The state will pay up to $3,000 of their mortgage for a short time until they are able to find a job. Mm -hmm. The other program, if they were unemployed, but they have fallen behind three or four maybe five months behind, the state will assist with up to $15,000 to help you become current on your mortgage and continue making your payments on your own. Um, the other program is um, targeting homeowners that may not necessarily be in a situation that they can continue to keep their home. We will assist them with moving expenses up to $5,000 to get them into a new rental. Wow, those are a, a lot of opportunities, a, a lot of uh, ways Absolutely. to help. Uh, how can the people who need the help get the help and find out more about it? Well, first of all, they need to contact their uh, mortgage company, mm -hmm. but they can also go on to our state's uh, website, keepyourhomecalifornia.org, and uh, they have they they can log on to that and fill out a uh, pre-qualification form. It's very easy. Um, four steps that they could take to see if they would uh, qualify. It seems that everyone has a different circumstance. Um, so who qualifies for the program? We have low income, um, low income and moderate income families who have uh, suffered a severe financial um, uh, due to the loss of jobs or um, the loss of, um, maybe they got sick and, and they, they were temporarily uh, unemployed. Mm -hmm. And uh, two billion dollars, how far is that going to go? I mean, the need seems exponential really from there. It absolutely is, but I think this is a start for us to um, begin to get focused on helping those who we can still help and those who can no longer um, keep their home. At least we will be there to help them facilitate and move them on to um, a different type of stable housing. Mm -hmm. So how does this help people who are uh, facing foreclosure? It's it's hope. It's a it's another an opportunity that they may have to stay in their homes. Um, you know, when 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 the home is foreclosed, is it doesn't only impact that family. Imp it impacts the entire community. So this is one way that we are trying to address that. Yeah. You know, how does it address the people who have uh, stayed current with their loans and feel like somebody's getting you know something that they I'm, worked really hard to compensate for? Absolutely, and there are folks that you know have been able to maintain their jobs, have kept their jobs. Um, you know, we're proud of you that you've been able um, to maintain your mortgage. But there are other folks that, at no fault of their own, they have fallen behind because they have lost their job. Maybe they were hospitalized and were not earning any income. And because the number of these folks is so large. There's, we have to move to help them. So is the assumption then that it's for the betterment of everybody that more people keep their home? What is the effect of more people being able to stay in their home? Absolutely, it, it's a it's a win-win for everyone because their property values can you know stabilize and and that's what we all want. Okay, well thank you very much for being here and telling us about these programs. Thank you, and thank you for tuning in. More HLN next.